biggest risk, I think, specifically in Q4 to the, the global economy is that the fiscal cliff situation doesn't get sorted out and you do see that uh, huge programme of spending cuts and tax increases hitting the US economy and, and therefore the global activity as well. Well, I think it's, it's got to be the, the, the US fiscal cliff. I think for Q4, the biggest risk is the US fiscal cliff. Um, I think the, the, the possibility that you might not get any sort of resolution and the impact that will have on the US and therefore global economy at the end of this quarter is really quite profound. Uh, we're expecting a slowdown in the US to sub 1% GDP growth in the fourth quarter and if we don't get a resolution to it, then in Q1 it's perfectly possible that we see a negative US GDP print. It's the lack of growth. It's just clearly we see that the China is slowing down, the, the US economy is not really picking up speed and the Eurozone is in a, in a deep recession. So this is the biggest worry for, for the next weeks and month. It's the lack of growth and it's high unemployment. Uh, I still think that the risk of, a, the, the risk of a, a Greek exit, it's smaller now, but that remains the single biggest, biggest risk to, uh, to the global economy, really, over the fourth quarter and, and through next year. I still th I, I think that remains the, the key risk for the markets. I think that um, you know, it's the ongoing saga of the uh, Eurozone debt crisis. I mean, we've seen really the ECB do everything that it can. Um, I think the focus now is pushed very much back onto the performance of the real economy. We're all data watching, and also you know what the eurozone politicians are um, are doing. So there's an enormous amount of event risk that we're having to look forward to. There's no big bazooka out there left, quite frankly.